Hi, I'm back again. It's been two days since I last did um, a video with you guys. Yep, still on 44 subscribers. Still need another f uh, 956 subscribers so I can um, do my live streams. And um, I do apologise to my adoring fans, my viewers, that um, I did not do my live stream during a 12-hour shift far away from home. And coming back, um, it just took it out on me. And um, I needed to sleep. Well, I'm off today. But while I'm not working today, I can do uh, more live, more live um, videos. <clears throat> I was about to say more live streams. How are you all today? Hope you're all well. Hope you're all keeping safe. And I mean that to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. Hope you're doing good for yourselves. So, let me reflect on um, two nights ago, the other uh, a couple of nights ago. What a game. Well, it was one-sided in the end. Buffalo 2, Bayern Munchen 8. I repeat, Buffalo 2, Bayern Munchen 8. 8 2. The first half. That man, the first half alone, ne never mind the whole game, that manager should have walked. He should have walked. You were 4 1 down at half time in the Champions League quarter final. Remember that. I don't know who he is. I can't even get his name out of, out of my mind. But I'll tell you something. I can't even get his name. But th that manager is not a Barcelona manager. B, after that, that tells you, after being 4 1 down at half time, that tells you alone. That they need to strengthen. And see. They need a complete clear out. From top to bottom. Because that football club looks like it's in a rotten mess. Seriously. What I saw. I mean I'll give it to Bayern Munich. They were incredibly. Sensational. In front of goal. Even defensively. They had their one or two hiccups. But. Oh. Better than Barcelona defensively. Offensively. Ten times better than Barcelona. Messi, he's coming to the end of his career. You can see it. <laughs> and someone said that um, Cristiano wants to keep winning. But then again, he's in, a, he's in a team where they're aging. And Barcelona players, you look at them, they're aging. But my word... Take nothing away from Bayern Munich. They were completely sensational. Absolutely sensational. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what. My player ratings... Well, if I was player rating um, Bayern Munich... Every player... Will get a minimum 7 out of 10. From the manager... I'll even rate the referee. A 6, 7 out of 10. My word... They, I'll tell you what, they were phenomenal. What about Barcelona? I'll tell you something. Like Rio Ferdinand says, my school team don't defend like that. <laughs> That's absolute liberties. For a man to say those words, that is an absolute liberty. Wow. Rio Ferdinand, my school team don't defend like that, you know. Wow. Seriously. 8-2. Barcelona got their... They got their pants pulled down and a, and a heavy spanking. Bayern Munich went in. My only fear with Bayern Munich was is Thomas Muller telling his um, teammates to hold it down. Don't keep going at them. Get out of here. If you don't want to be part of it, then get out. Thomas Muller, be professional and allow yourself and your teammates... Together to do a professional job. And the professional job you did. Coutinho. He showed Barcelona in one movement that. I am the man to be in this team. And if you don't want me in this team. I'm moving on. And I think he gave them a parting shot. And he couldn't wait to come on and play his part. And play his part he did. He assisted um, Lewandowski's goal. The header from three yards. And. He got himself two, um, two goals himself. And piled on the misery for his parent club while on loan at Bayern Munich. 
Wow, that is shocking. <coughs> Utterly shocking. But, f oh, phenomenal um, offensive display by Bayern Munich. Serge Gnabry, I was happy to see him score. You know? Because my team, or my club at the time, allowed him to go. Yeah, the mess caused, and that was something hugely to. So that was hugely because of Gazidis, Ivan Gazidis, and Arsene Wenger. Well done. Congratulations. You pair of prats. You bumbling idiots. Gnabry has become a world-class player elsewhere. And you wonder why we are pissed off with the pair of you. Congratulations, you bumbling idiots. But anyway, I'm going to go on to Arsenal and Raul Sanlihi being sacked. So let me move on to other news. I am glad that he's gone. This is the man. Oh, I won't say I'll take that back actually, but uh, nice guy. Nice guy. But he had to go. The rules, I mean, the things he did. I mean, this is this is the guy who wanted to authorize Ainsley make the nails. Um, departure from Arsenal for 25 30 mil. This is a guy who has apparently taken a backhander, yeah, taken a backhander from the Nicola Pepe deal. This is a guy who refused to have David O'Leary on as one of the board of directors of football. This is a guy who I thought he was a football guy. Excuse me, what? But for me, it ended in disappointment and um, the club had to act. And for us to be in, a, for us to, to go in the direction that we want to go, in the forward direction, he could be no longer be part of it. So, bye bye, Raul Sanlihi. And yet we <laughs> employ Rinai Venkatisham as our CEO. Another gazelle is waiting to happen. And that's the last thing. For me, <coughs> he should have gone with him, personally. And left um, Edu and Mikel Arteta to it. And worry about the CEO and the next head of football that comes. The main thing is Arsenal is the fans' football club. And for what we demand for the last 15 years is to end the mediocrity and... Produce the quality on the pitch that we want to see. I am a paying customer because I have been a red member of that football club. I was once a red member of that football club. And I aim to be at least a red member of that football club. I admit, I can't afford a season ticket at the moment. Not yet. But I aim to be a red member of this football club. And that is my aim. And ripping off the fans, as you have done during the time you were our head of football, Raul Senli, that it will not be tolerated at all. So you had to go. And I'll tell you something. It's not so much um, the Cronky, Stan Cronky as such, but the board of directors have come in from some huge questions and criticism, and rightfully so. So I hope to see better on the pitch. And the William signing, I quietly, honestly believe in confidence that we'll be signing more players. I believe this Gabriel Brazilian centre-half will be an Arsenal player signing from Lille. I believe Thomas Partey will be an Arsenal player. You've heard it from me right here live on this video. I said it right now. Thomas Partey will be an Arsenal player. So that's my um, couple of predictions. Otherwise, to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, once again, I apologise for not um, doing my thing, for not doing my video. And um, I don't want to um, come across as someone who's deceiving. I just want to carry on doing as many videos as possible and keeping you guys entertained with the truth and what I feel and have my opinions. So, um, speaking of opinions, if you've got your own thoughts... And your own um, analysis on um, what I've been talking about, about the Bayern Munich um, game.
then drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up like button and the big one of all, yeah? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's me, my channel, myself, coming from DLG, repping myself. Smash the subscribe button for me and smash it hard and passionately. I want to see subscribers pumping up more than a lot more than 44. So pump, that, pump up that subscribe button for me, yeah? Left, right and centre and galore and beyond galore. Thank you once again. Peace, bless again, love again. And um, I'll be back this afternoon, definitely. It's time for me to say skadoosh. Have a nice day, people. Enjoy.